You're still listening to Kumbang Channel and this is KT News. The Macau government has announced recently that the second e-voucher credit to be put in the government's very popular consumer card will start on the 1st of August and finish on December the 31st. Residents holding the card provided in the first phase should recharge them on designated top-up machines between July the 27th and December 14th. And residents that registered for the program but have still not collected their respective cards can do so on that period, MNA reported. The second round will have a higher 5,000 patakas provided to each resident but will maintain the 300 pataka limit used in the first round, which handed 3,000 patakas to each resident from May to July. With other requirements and locations for the use of the cards also maintained. Consumer card holders can only recharge their cards with the new 5,000 patakas until they have used the totality of 3,000 patakas provided in the previous round. If not, the remaining funds will be automatically cancelled from the card on the 1st of August. Over 658,000 residents have registered for the consumer card first phase, but with only 624,000 having collected their respective cards. Possibly, some of them are still overseas and not being able to return to Macau. People who have lost the first card should make a report to the Public Security Police Force, CPSP, and then will be able to have a new card provided, according to the MNA report. Only local permanent residents or non-permanent resident permit holders are eligible for the consumer scheme. The cards are not allowed to be used in casinos, pawn shops, banks, insurance companies, and other financial institutions or to pay utility bills, the report points out. The second arrangement made by local government to bring home Macau residents from overseas, which began on 17th of June, has officially ended, with the last returnees arranged to return to Macau by Hong Kong Airport taking place on the 16th of July, with some returnees still undergoing the two-week quarantine. From 17th of June until now, there has only been one returnee who was found to be a positive COVID-19 case, a national of the Philippines holding Macau ID card, who returned via Hong Kong airport and used the arrangement, and how now has meanwhile recovered and been released from the Santang Hospital. As for now, the number of positive COVID-19 cases in Macau remains 46, all of which have recovered, while the situations keep on worsening in the neighbouring Hong Kong, prompting the local government to apply a stricter border restrictions. According to worldometers.info, with 128 new cases today, the number of cases in Hong Kong now stands at 2,634, with 18 total deaths. Meanwhile, Indonesia has reached a total of 98,778 positive COVID-19 cases, with 4,788 deaths. As for the weather in Macau this week, it is expected to be cloudy tomorrow with temperature arranging from 28 to 33 degrees Celsius, while the rest of the week is forecast to be rainy all the way until the weekend. For more information about the local weather, visit www.smg.gov.mo. That is all for tonight's KT News. Getting back to our music, this is Duke Demon with Asian Drive. Continue to listen to Kumbang Channel Kumbang, Kumpul Barang Yao.